Hello, hello. Let's talk about aloe vera and tropical plants in the UK. Tropical plants in England with bananas. Go in for it. Let's see how many come on. That one's uh, some hardy banana. This should be able to withstand the English winters. It's going to be in this greenhouse, or maybe even in the house. This is a dwarf Cavendish. It throws off little babies all the time. The pups. There's some cuttings that I took. Or pulled. I took six. Three have managed to take. And still alive. I hope learn some. Next generation of bananas. This is how every banana tree, plant, should I say, it's a plant of a tree. It's in the grass family. Every banana is a clone of the last banana of the same variety. Because they don't grow seeds. So they have to take a, a dwarf off the mother. Cool looking things. Check out my beautiful aloe vera plant. This thing's not stopped smashing it. I bought a little one in a pot from a garden centre, replaced it into a small pot with my own soil, lots of uh, worm castings out my worm bin, I threw out a few pups, took a few off, they died, a few came through very well, switch them around, get some light on oh just snap one Dude, look at that. More than likely I'm going to cut myself at some point in the near future, so I'll save that for a few days. Just rub it on any burns, cuts, sores, everything you want to heal, moisturise. Got a cut on my elbow actually. Get, rub that on it. Look at that beauty. Anyway, they can take sun. Lots of sun, a lot of water, but the majority of it, they like it dry. One plant that you can't kill very easily because you can just take bits off, it doesn't matter. If you get to water it, it's not a problem. Just feed them rainwater, bottled water, anything clean. Colour of them. Beautiful. When these get bigger, three or four years, and a couple more years, be able to eat these. Make aloe vera gel juice. Put them in smoothies. I brought the bananas in. They're going to stay in the sunshine. Where I feed me, in fact, a good point. I shifted them along. There's a little cup that scoop water out of the fish tank. That's what the cat drinks. It's his favourite water. I can't with him filtered water, bottled water. All he wants is manky puddle water out of the garden or water from the fish tank. Yeah, I like quality plants to grow. Amazing for exchanging 
carbon dioxide to oxygen and you can also just nip the tips when they're getting all brown and crusty and that'll just stay clean seal over itself imagine the reason that they're going brown is because they're sucking the nutrients back into its core to dig some roots down and survive beautiful so these ones were the first batch you can peel from the bottom when you want to harvest the leaf just peel it around nicely that one's shriveling up and dying so I'll take that away see how green they are popping out new the shoots but when I did first take them off they all went brown and horrible and I didn't think they were going to survive like that. Generally I wait until the leaves shrivel up completely and fall off. Uh, should be able to just peel them off from the base. And that pulling it out. They take a long grow long while to grow roots they don't really need big roots these will grow on rocky mountainy slopes on the coast and this beauty an avocado looking stunning and them leaves Put it out in the sun, some direct sunshine, some wind, blowing it around. This was an avocado that I ate. It's only, um, I ate the avocado about a year ago. And it didn't shoot up properly until the beginning of the year. And this has all happened in seven months. Can't wait to keep this one going. It come out as a twin. It was identical. It still is pretty much identical, but every single leaf and node popped out at exactly the same place. Same shaped size leaves at each point. Avocado. I think what other tropical things I've got that you can grow in England. Does that have with me, mate? I'll leave him there. Strung out, catching the bugs. Hot kiwis, but they're not as tropical as I thought, apparently. They'll go anywhere. Oh my melons! Look at these weird things! Cukey melon! Or cuca melon! <laughs> Grapes, you need a greenhouse or? Very nice sheltered spot. The right type of grape. Chilies need as much help as they can get. Apparently, the more you bully a chili, the hotter they become. It's 
when the chilies are formed, starve it of food, starve it of water, give it as much light and heat as physically possible, bully it. Can't wait to eat these dwarf cavendish. Only get fresh rainwater. No chemical up tap water. I think I found with this is the second batch of uh, pups I've took. Too much water. It's bad. It's as bad as not enough. So you've got to be on them. Take care of them. Check them every day. And not leave them swimming like that. <laughs> the bonsai avocado is not very happy. I don't know why. This looked stunning. It did dry out quite a bit. It was about a week ago. I just put them out in the wind and some fresh air. Sun's not too strong today. A fair bit of cloud. It's a nice day though. Nice day for England. Not what the middle of the summer should be like, but enough for an avocado tree in the UK. One thing I forgot to say is if any of these get frost or sit out and anything below zero, they're more than likely going to die. Aloe wants dry climate, realistically. Mountainous so it gets the dew and the mist and the clouds. Bananas want the rainforest. Or a good greenhouse in England. Get growing your bananas.